Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I know different intro that I've ever filmed, but I forgot to film an intro, of course, like I always do sometimes. And I wanted to put something out there instead of nothing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. I forgot to film one while I was editing. I realized I did it and I don't have the same makeup anymore after a few days after I filmed it. So this is what I'm giving to you guys, but yeah, I wanted to do something different besides like content LSAT videos or like routines, um, even though this is a makeup routine, but just kind of more vlog style. I wanted to give you guys like a sit down video and talk about my makeup. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. We are so close to 1K. I know I still have like a little bit way to go, but we're really close and I'm so happy like that makes me so happy because I've never thought I would ever reach this amount of 600 subscribers I never thought that was gonna happen but anyways check me on my socials I definitely haven't been active on my Instagram but I do respond if you guys message me I'm more of active right now on my TikTok I just have to film and like create content for my Instagram but besides that if you guys want to see my summer go-to makeup look keep on watching Okay, so there's a lot of background noise, so I'm gonna do a voiceover for this whole makeup. Um, whenever it does get quiet, I'll probably end up talking, but just for the majority of the video, so you guys don't hear a lot of background noises, I'm just gonna do a voiceover and let me know how you guys do that. I think I've done some videos of voiceover on my channel, but I never like to talk out loud to you guys, so let me know how you guys feel about it. This is not a sponsored video, but last year, if you want to sponsor me, that would be great. So right now I'm going to take the Claudia setting spray or like brush mist all over my face just to kind of refresh my face as I kind of film this in the middle of the day. And then I'm going to take the Tula sunscreen. I really like the sunscreen, but sometimes I like to switch out to the Neutrogena one um, because the Tula can be a little bit greasy if you are more of an oil-based skin tone. But if you do like a glowy look, if you don't want to wear makeup, especially with glossier makeup and you really want to keep that glow, I do recommend this sunscreen just because it gives an extra dew and sometimes I don't wear a highlighter because it gives me that glow. So for foundation, I'm actually going to go with a glossier skin tint because it does give like a natural coverage. And then also I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Mini Air Flawless filter primer I believe it's not the foundation one but I really like using the Charlotte Tilbury with this one because it gives me more of a tannish color where the last year is a little bit lighter but it's both very dewy and for the summer I really like that and if I need to cover the glow if it's too oily I do go in with powder but I feel like these two are like the best combination with the summer because it's not so heavy and it still gives me that perfect coverage that I need. So after the skin tint, I'm going to go with this contour stick. I will link it down below because it's after my mom's and she found it on TikTok. Um, so I don't know the name of it, but I actually really like this. I'm going to have to get one because it's just so creamy and the perfect color. And I'm just going to put that on the cheekbones, on my forehead, and then as well as my jawline. And then afterwards, I'm going to go with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This honestly has been like my go-to concealer since I probably started makeup. I just feel like it always gives me like the great coverage that I need, especially like light. And it like basically brightens my under eyes, which I really like because I definitely need as well. I also forgot to mention, as you guys saw, I put the contour stick on my eyelids and then underneath my lip to give that outline. So throughout this video, you guys are going to see I've been using my fingers a lot, especially because with natural makeup, I feel like it really soaks into my skin if I use my fingertips. Sometimes I'll definitely use a beauty blender, but mine's are really dirty right now. I don't want them to break out. But I'm going in the Glossier um, uh, Highlighter. This one, I forgot the name, but again, I'll link everything down below. I just don't have the makeup right in front of me as I'm doing this voiceover. But I put this before I do blush actually on top of where I contour and then sometimes I blend it into my eyes and then I'm using the cloud bean paint I really love liquid blush I've honestly been using a lot more and I definitely want to get more into it especially into the fall and get like a darker color 
but with this color, I feel like it's very good for the summer because it gives you like that nice sunburn kind of glow. And I love putting a lot all over my cheeks and sometimes I'll put it over my nose to kind of give that sun kiss kind of look. Okay, so that contour stick also came with this highlighter stick, which is like a nice opal color shade. And I really like this because it's super bright. And like you saw how I just tapped a little bit. I felt like it still gave me like that nice glow and like dewy. It kind of like messed up underneath my eyes, but just very natural. And I think you could also just use this throughout the year, not just the summertime. Okay, so I didn't film this, but I did a face powder all over my face with Dior face powder. I'll link it again down below. But that one I really like because it kind of like fills in my pores and gave me like an air filter finish. But now moving on to my eyebrows. I'm trying to show you guys the ColourPop um, Brow Wax. And then I'm using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I apologize for the quality. Again, I'm filming on my phone, so wherever I could get the best lighting, I use it. So it's obviously not 100% the best like when I used to have my camera but anyways I'm using the Claudia spray to do the brow wax because I figured not figured but I found out that it does it works better a lot more when I spray it or use a setting spray and I just been kind of like using trial and error of like how to use this wax I used to use the NYX brow wax glue which is really good but I also really like this one because I feel like this one keeps my eyebrows a little bit more in place. But you just kind of have to play with it a lot. And I just keep stroking the eyebrows until I get to the right kind of shape that I want it to stay in for a while. Okay guys, I'm definitely not proud of this wing eyeliner that I'm going to show you guys that I did. Normally, again, trial and error it takes practice. But one thing I've been doing a lot to keep that natural look that I kind of saw from Maggie McDonald, if you guys saw her on YouTube, she does eyeshadow for eyeliner. And I think that's all over TikTok as well, but I kind of saw it from her and that's what I've been using recently. If I need to do darker, I'll add a little bit liquid liner. But when I was traveling around during the summer, I definitely use this a lot because I just felt it kept that natural, subtle, like, eye lift that I really like doing. And so I'm trying to perfect it now. But sometimes I will mix the brown shade and the black shade and the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which this one is my favorite palette. I think the packaging is adorable and they have such pretty shades in it. But as you can tell, I'm using kind of like an eyeliner pen sole or like a little brush and to kind of just flick it around my corner but I felt like I made it a little bit too thick here normally I like to make it thinner but again trial and error practice makes perfect okay so after doing my eyeliner I'm gonna go in with this mascara I believe I got from Sephora as like a little mini gift I honestly don't remember where this is from. I'm pretty sure I got it from Sephora. Um, but normally, I used to do lash extensions, but right now, since um, with summer still around, like swimming, I stopped doing them. So my lashes are not as big as they normally used to be. But I felt like this mascara does give me a little lengthening, and I just give them a little squiggle because I don't like to wear so much mascara because I feel like Sometimes it clumps too much or it kind of weighs down my lashes if I put a lot. Okay, so I'm going with this Maybelline lip liner. It's like a light pink just to outline my lips a little bit. I only use this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but I literally cannot find it. So I might have to buy a new one because that one's my favorite lip liner. But this one kind of gives me a little lighter shade of that. But I like to just outline really a lot of my bottom lip and then just like kind of around my top lip. And then what I like to do to keep it a little bit more natural is that I'll like blend it out completely and fill in my lip. And then I go in with a lip oil eventually. The lip oil I use is from LA Color. I literally got it from the Dollar Tree. 
and I just kind of like rub my lips together and then I go with this Victoria's Secret lip gloss. I will try to find it online if I could find the name on the tube. If not, I'll just link down the lip gloss. It's just one of them and it kind of gives me a little color on the lips and it keeps it natural. Okay guys, that is the overall look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love doing makeup videos. Again, I apologize for the quality, but that is all for today, and I will see you guys later. Bye.